independence as they look to make a playoff push here in the final latter part of the season. Well, you uh, spoke about the choir. It's turned out to be a beautiful evening here. At Game time temperature around 85 degrees, some low humidity considering the fact that we are buried in a Corbin Bone will play on the left edge of the penalty area with a cross to Wheeler, and there's Aaron Wheeler getting his foot on a ball harmlessly off the side of the net. He moved there from Daniel Jackson on the right edge, and a nice cross near the net. The corner sends a right-footed kick towards the far post. So again, this restart, they've got to be looking for Wheeler. Big, strapping, imposing guy. If he can get his head on, it's dangerous. And there's Wheeler there, punched away by Burner. It'll be Wheeler off the head, sets up for Bone, and his right-footed strike will go wide, at least for soccer. And Aaron Wheeler with the right-footed strike from just inside the 18-yard box, rings off the right post, all set up there from Corbin Bone, who had a great cross towards the middle, approaching the final third as he... Digs into the box with the left-footed strike. Tough angle there for the wall on the run as the Wilmington Hammerheads defense retreats. It'll be Jackson splitting the defenders. One last touch just too far. Keep the play alive. It'll be Hairston with the left-footed strike. Gets underneath it. Bringing a couple of defenders back forward. They may be looking for Bilal Duckett on this. Turned away by the... By... Wheeler, Aaron Wheeler. And the left-footed shot will go wide from Enzo Martinez. Let's cue the wall with the right-footed shot in perfect position is Burner, the goalkeeper for Charlotte. The Hammerheads and Charlotte Independence. Ball played in, looking for Wheeler, of course, off that first time. Aaron Wheeler on the far post, and the wall just skies it. <laughs> Very one frustrating. Of the, one of the, and he can do it. He's got magic on that foot. He's going to go to the far side. Rawls, well played. Had it marked the whole time as it goes out of play. Way out of play. It's the wall wrestling with Burner. The wall eh, put a little more patience from Q. The wall there had to Frager on the right side. It would have been one touch. Paul yeah. Nicholson getting mixed and matched in there. One of the undersized players for Wilmington. That'll be Parrott looking for Wheeler again. Looks like some, got some Parrott turned away. And it'll be kick Tom Parrott this time. Looking forward to Frager. It's Nicholson in the mix. And we'll send a cross into Wheeler off the header. Right to the goalkeeper, Burner. In front to the wall. The wall with a lofty cross. And Burner is right there to scoop it out of the Frager. Tom Parrott on the run now. Up the near flank. He's going to sky one that flies over the left edge of the crossbar. That walk. Wheeler can absorb the physical stuff. There's Sonny Jane making the run. Get your opponents back. Tired legs. Maybe you get a goal off a restart. And it's Herrera. Finds the head and the back of the net off number 16, Daniel Jackson. Nope, it was, let me see. It's Alvarez with some space. We'll put a shot in off the left foot. Post, you need a big player at the far post. Now they're going to go to Will Heaney, who had a header deflected. This one punched away by Burner. And that's obviously another tough late goal game that turned around for the Wilmington team that I thought really controlled... Most of the pace of play throughout the evening. Boy, you've seen this play act out before. Um, it, it's it's sort of the same script. The Hammerheads played some good soccer. Carson Porter wants them to play good soccer, control the ball. They did it for a great deal of the time. And then just that one let up. And, and when things are not going well, you do press, you lose your concentration on the one service by Herrera. And they leave a, a man open at the top of the box at the far post. And Jackson buries it. And... Uh, the Hammerheads go home short. And this is a big win for Charlotte. Give Mike Jeffries a lot of aid and impact. They needed to get a result on the road. And credit to the Hammerheads. I don't think you want to 